Hello, my name is Rachel here and I'm Trust Director of MFL. Tonight I'd like to talk to you about your child's GCSE French course and how they can best revise for their exams. The exam board is EDUCAS. Pupils are usually examined in four skills, listening, reading, speaking and writing, each worth 25%. However, as you may be aware, following a consultation by Ofqual in the summer, the speaking exam will not be formally assessed this year and pupils will instead receive an endorsement point, pass, merit or distinction. This has been done in order to create more teaching time so pupils can cover more content. The content is divided into three broad themes, as can be seen here. In November, when we have our first assessment, the focus will be on listening, reading and writing in particular. At Foundation, the listening exam lasts 35 minutes and you will be given an additional five minutes to read the paper, so you should use it. The instructions are mostly in English and you are required to answer in English. There are two sections in French which you are required to answer in French. The higher listening is similar to the French listening, except that you are required to answer in French. At Foundation, the reading exam lasts one hour. You are advised to spend five minutes reading through the paper. Again, instructions are mostly in English to answer in English. However, the sections in French also require responses in French. There is also a translation to English. At higher, you get a further 15 minutes and the requirements are similar, except there is no non-verbal response in the French section. The writing exam has four questions at foundation. I will briefly go through what each one requires. Question one is worth 12 marks, so the recommendation is to spend approximately 10 minutes on this question, and only one sentence is required for each box. Pupils are advised to read and annotate the rubric. The first sentence is the most important as it sets the topic. The rest of the instructions will be the same no matter what the topic. So for question one, the first job is to translate the words into English. We then plan what we want to say, but most importantly, it must be vocabulary that you know and that you know you can produce in accurate French. Question two at foundation, it's worth 16 marks, so 15 minutes is the recommended time. There are three bullet points and all three must be answered. Here, word count is approximate and if you write slightly more or slightly less, you will not be penalised. Again, pupils should annotate the rubric. Of particular importance here are the bullet points. So, so long as the three bullet points are translated and you understand what they mean, that is the key message. And here we need to plan our response. And again, ensuring we use vocabulary that we know and that we can spell. And of course, it doesn't have to be true. So we jot down the vocabulary, remembering essential phrases. And then we go to question three at foundation. Now, this is also question one at higher and this is worth 20 marks. So as an approximate guide, we're talking about 35 minutes to spend on this question. And again, we look at the rubric, we identify the topic, and we have to write about all three bullet points. Again, word count is approximate, and if you write approximately 30 words per bullet point, you will have done enough. Okay. Question two on higher requires a longer response. You have a choice of two questions, so people should identify the topic they know the most vocabulary for. Again, it's important to answer all the bullet points. Again, the word count is higher, but it is only a rough guide. So the strategy for pupils would be to translate the bullet point, underlining the keywords. Identify the tense for each bullet point, and this is absolutely crucial, as if pupils answer in the wrong tense, it can affect their mark. Pupils will be encouraged to write the abbreviation Dr. RIP or Dr. RIP on the paper 
to remind them to include key language elements and then brainstorm the vocabulary they know to help them prepare their response. Again, a clear idea of what we want to say in English is advisable. Both writing papers at Foundation and Higher include a translation into French. This is worth 12 marks and should take approximately 10 minutes to complete at Foundation level. Again, all sentences need translating and we must have a verb and it must be in the correct tense. There are some essential keywords and phrases that will help with this. The top tip is to find other ways of saying the same thing if the vocabulary is not known. The same advice applies for the higher translation. Of course, there are more complex phrases that will need to be known here. And again, pupils should always try to translate the whole thing. So a common question I hear pupils and parents ask is how do you revise for French? Well, it's really not as difficult as it may seem. It's important to practice all the skills. There's lots of audio material on the market for this. Indeed, many revision guides now include a CD or a link to audios online. One resource I strongly recommend is GCSE Pod. The school has a subscription for this and your child has a login. Once pupils have chosen French from the menu, they will have access to videos which they can use to complete comprehension questions. Here's a screenshot of the page. As you can see, the English translation is included. And the video also contains grammar explanations. Although there will not be a formal speaking exam next summer, pupils must still be able to demonstrate their speaking skills in order for the teacher to assess them during the course. Speaking is obviously a skill which people worry about if they don't have anyone to practice with. One way around this is to, is to use an app or an application like the Microsoft OneNote application, which after you've typed in your work will read it back out to you. You can then copy the sounds and practice it out loud. It allows you to change the voice to male or female and the speed can also be altered. The app can be downloaded to mobile phones so pupils can use it when journeying to and from school, for example. And here's a screenshot of a typical MFL page. The revision workbooks are excellent for practicing reading and writing skills and usually have an answer section at the back for pupils to self-mark. So here are my five top tips for revising GCSE French. Top tip number one, know your vocabulary. Vocabulary is the mainstay of the exam and pupils must spend a lot of their revision going over topic vocabulary. As you can see, there are lots of different methods for revising vocabulary. Some pupils may only want to use one or two of these. Others may prefer to mix them up or indeed stick with just one that works well for them. Vocabulary should be revised on a weekly basis if it is to have an impact. Pupils should return to vocabulary they practiced on a previous occasion to ensure the knowledge has stuck in their long-term memory. A revision plan would be helpful here. Top tip number two, know your verbs. One particular set of resources we are currently developing in the Trust are knowledge organisers. These are maps which set out the key vocab and grammar which pupils need to be successful at GCSE. In addition to vocabulary, it is vital that pupils know their verbs in all the core tenses. Top tip number three, know how your verbs and vocabulary connect. In MFL, including pictures of what words remind pupils of in English can also help words stick. For example, drawing a magazine in a shop which is labelled le magasin, the word for shop. If these words are also connected to verbs, this helps pupils form a mental image. Mind maps are especially useful for this. Top tip number four, time yourself gathering what you know. One of my favourite methods of revising vocabulary or grammar is to make a revision clock. Pupils give themselves five minutes per segment to complete as much as they can under a set topic title. After 60 minutes, they check their resources and add in what they missed in another colour. They should then repeat the activity on another occasion to see if they have retained more. 
Top tip number five, space out your revision. Concentrate on one vocabulary slash grammar spread in the revision guide at a time and then return to it another week to see what you have retained. You cannot cram learn a language. Intervention days are being mapped out to fit around pupils other intervention sessions. Pupils can find out the details from their teacher. How to tackle exam papers guidance is also being prepared. These are narrated PowerPoints which take pupils through a full exam paper. They are also interactive. At the moment, there are narrated PowerPoints for French, Foundation and Higher Writing. There are numerous resources which can be purchased to revise GCSE French. My personal favourites are the CGP guides and cards due to their clear layout. As there is no revision guide for EDUCAS, pupils can use the GCSE AQA guide instead. The Trust is posting weekly support via its NPCAT underscore MFL Instagram page. Here your child can access short core knowledge boosters, word of the week, topic vocabulary, verb of the week and much more. The slides are clear and simple and visually appealing and thus should be another source for pupils to boost their knowledge. Finally, there is a plethora of websites and apps which pupils can use to practice their French. Here are just a few of the main ones. Encourage your child to find one or two they enjoy and feel comfortable with. And finally, we have some frequently asked questions. And these are, no one in my house or my family speaks French. How can I revise? Well, the answer is they don't need to. You have everything you need revision guide, knowledge organisers, online PowerPoints, etc, etc. If parents do want to get involved, they can cover up the English and test your understanding of meanings that way. What's the best online app to use? Well, there are lots of great language learning apps on the market to enhance your learning. Favourites are Babbel and Duolingo. Have a look around and see which ones suit you best. When should I start revision for French? Well, the answer is now. If you purchase your revision guide now and divide up your topics between the weeks left until the exam, you will find that you can cover everything and still have time to go back over things. You will also be able to fit it around your other subjects. So don't delay, make a plan today. Essayez-tu? Restez calme et apprenez le français.